So this is the Monty's Surprise Apple. It's a beautiful cooking apple uh, early in the season and then in about mid-April in Whanganui it turns lovely and crisp and is wonderful to eat. Uh, it's a very versatile apple. Uh, you can see it's very disease resistant. It's an old variety. When we found the tree, it was the oldest apple tree that I'd ever, ever discovered, ever found. Um, uh, the trunk was so big that I couldn't actually put my arms around it. Now this is the variety that we included in a chemical analysis study of 250 New Zealand apple varieties and it was found to have the highest levels of quercetin flavonoids in the world from the data that we have available and also very high levels of procyanidins which are an anti-cancer compound. We sent samples of this apple to a scientist in Strasbourg, France and he tested it on colon cancer cells and found it to be very potent at, um, uh, as an anti-proliferative effect on those colon cancer cells. So we now give this apple tree away around Wanganui in a wellness initiative to try and keep people healthy. We work in partnership with the Wanganui Regional Primary Health Organisation, um, which is a wonderfully positive initiative and um, through them we can distribute these apple trees through schools, through kindergartens, uh, through iwi groups and Pacifica groups and around the general community. We found the original tree, uh, I was travelling one day with some friends on a back country road out in the Wops and we just happened to stop the car and hop out to stretch our legs and there was this apple tree growing just over the fence covered in blackberry and uh, it was mid-April, the apples were ready, they were clean, and we tasted a couple and they were beautiful. They were full of flavour. One of my friends, uh, his wife cooked up the apple and he said, look, this is the best cooking apple I've ever tasted. The tree crops conference was just about to occur in Cambridge and I took it to a nurseryman there and he ate the apple and said, this is worth pursuing. So that's what we did. Behind me, uh, some Monty Surprise trees grown from the pip. So they're not a full Monty Surprise. They, they will contain half of the parentage of Monty Surprise and half from wherever the bees brought their pollen from. So this is just another part of the research that we're doing here is growing these seedlings now from what we believe is the best apple tree in the world for human health, just to see uh, what will eventuate. We don't deliberately breed this variety as would be done commercially because in the research that we've done we have found that the heirloom varieties and seedling varieties are particularly high in beneficial compounds for health and that there seems to be an issue with modern breeding practices. Modern commercial varieties are deficient to a large extent in the, in the health giving um, compounds that we need for our bodies and so we need to go back to the old varieties um, many of which are still around uh, in order to save those these are the important ones for our health and for future generations of New Zealanders mm -hmm.